What's going on guys? Ryan with Jetta Patrol back for another video today. We are going on our first post craziness crisis hunt. So we're gonna start off at Target. I don't know where we're gonna end up. I'm not even sure what we're looking for. We're gonna go find something cool though. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's go. All right guys, here we go. First stop is gonna be Target. Funko Pop section. We'll take a look at some other action figures uh, in a little bit, but uh, let's see what we got. There are a couple of these things I wouldn't mind having. Uh, this one actually, I need that pop. I don't have any of these office for the commons. I don't have any of these. Pam, probably should, I don't know. We'll see. Got a couple of Pam Beasley's going on here. Tiger Woods, which is a super cool pop. Wouldn't mind having that one for the collection. And then this, this is probably one of my favorite uh, Wonder Woman pops from this wave. I don't know. I just like the movement and the dress. I think it's a cool pop. And I uh, can't wait to see the film. Plenty of chromes going on. Won't be picking any of those up. And then, uh, you know, I want to know how the heck this guy is still alive. Like, what's the deal? I, I need to know. So, anyways, we'll see how that goes. Mystery minis we don't need. We've got some 10-inch pops at the top. We've got some $30 tumblers, which I will not be picking up any of those. And, uh, you know, from pretty much anything else, I think we've seen plenty of these Avengers Oh, there we go. Oh, watch it. This is probably the coolest Iron Man they've released in forever. So if you're at Target and you see this, highly recommend picking this one up. And then this, I've been, I've been, I've been struggling with this set, guys. I love this show. I think it's fantastic. And the question is, do I just pick up the whole set? So you guys let me know down below if you're actually collecting this set. I don't know. I, I've seen them multiple times and struggling with that one. Maybe that's a sign that I don't need it for my collection. But I really like the show, and I think it's pretty cool. Uh, SpongeBob movie pops coming on. There's a Q90 from Mandalorian. Don't have that one just yet. Squidward. That was actually pretty cool. Uh, what else? We got a cap. That's actually pretty neat. First time seeing that one. It's pretty neat. So, um, yeah, that's what we got going on in this section. Other than that, we got the normal stuff that sits around forever. And uh, eventually it will be worth hundreds of dollars. But right now, nobody wants it. So, yeah. Oh, I got more over here. Look at that. So we got X-Men, 80 years, Target, uh, Iron Man. What else we got? Forrest Gump, Tobias Beckett. By the way, Hot Toys Mud Trooper uh, should be here Monday or Tuesday. Super excited about reviewing that piece. Uh, so stay tuned for that. That's going to be exciting. Oh, man, that Angel Pop. I love these X-Men Pops. They're pretty awesome. So, uh, yeah, let's go on to the next section. Check out this Star Wars section. Let's see what we got here, guys. We got a Sith Jet Trooper. We've got Yavin Luke. Already got that. Don't need that. We got Rose, Maz Kanata. So, all these figures have been around for a while. Han Solo. I do have that one. Don't need that. Ray. I've got Zori. I don't have Zori Bliss yet. Pretty cool figure, but there's so many of them out. I think they're going to end up on clearance at some point. So, we're going to play long game, hopefully. Save some money on that one. We got Poe, DJ, Sith Jet Trooper, and some three and three quarter stuff up there. So nothing from the newest wave out, at least at this particular target. So we're gonna keep looking. Hopefully find us some more uh, Rebel Hoth Troopers. All right guys, target number two. And just a quick stop here. Didn't really have anything in Funko Pop section, but they did have this at at driver, which I passed on earlier. But seeing how I'm doing like a Hoth thing, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and pick this one up. At second and Charles for the first time in a couple months. So kind of crazy. We've got some loose figures. We'll see what they got over here. And uh, we'll look at the pops and whatever. Let's see what we can find. So I don't, I don't know. Well, I'm not even sure what we're looking for guys. We're just out enjoying the uh, ability to actually be able to uh, do a hunt. So. I did pick up that ad at driver at Target earlier to add to my Hoth scene that I'm building as soon as the six inch snow speeder from Amazon launches in a, I guess a couple months, July or so, something like that. Uh, we're definitely gonna be picking that up. And that's kind of cool, honestly. Uh, since I have the three, I mean the color definitely doesn't match the 3A uh, Bumblebee I've got uh, at all but it might be cool to have that for something, but you know, I don't know. If the colors were closer to the actual figure, I might've picked that up. 
Let's see, we've got a Black Series Ray. We've got some Funko Pops. We've got some Mighty Mugs going on down here. Stranger Things vehicle. I don't think, ooh, a turtle bike. Wow, how old is that? TMNT Cycle. That's crazy, right? Childhood stuff. And uh, that might even actually be a re-release. I imagine it's probably not the uh, the original one. Um, but we've got Proxima Midnight going on here. We've got some Transformers and a C-3PO um, something, bank, can, something. It's got batteries, don't know. But uh, pretty cool stuff so far. Let's go see what they got in the cabinet. All right, over here we got a Celebration Han. I don't have that one. We've got a NYCC Marty McFly. That one's actually pretty cool. And then we've got a cap from SDCC 2017. So that's the Bucky cap. I want to say that was a Walgreens shared. I could be wrong about that. It's been a while. Uh, but it's cool to see that. We've got a movie moment. Uh, looks like we've got something from... Man, what's that from? Uh, Mortal Kombat is what I'm thinking. Mortal Kombat. Shao Kahn. Uh, so we do have some vehicles. We've got Slave 1 down there. We've got a skiff down there from Star Wars. An 82 ATST. Some Power Rangers. So pretty cool stuff over there. And then it looks like we've got Maximus. We've got a Bullseye Flocked from uh, Target. And uh, some other vehicles. But nothing I really can't live without today. So many pops. All right. So, been a good minute since we've been to Second Charles, obviously, but uh, it's pretty good to get out and do a little hunting for some pops. Uh, but we saw this one at Target, pretty cool. I really like this Wolverine. Uh, maybe we'll get one with like a dynamic jumping base, kind of like that one. Uh, we just like slashing somebody, that would be cool. Maybe a Wolverine versus Juggernaut, like moment, that would, comic moment, that would be pretty sick, right? It's got some Mandalorian stuff, Toby versus Michael down there at the bottom for the office. Uh, we got some Leia, Ray. I like that Ray pop. I own that one already, though. Um, let's see what else we got. I saw Captain Marvel uh, across the way over there. I didn't film it. They actually had the um, Iron Man uh, from NYCC, the snapping one with the nano gauntlet. Pretty cool pop. They want 25 bucks for it, which is, I don't know if that's the going rate for it or not. No idea. We got some, an Artemis Fowl. No idea what that is. Somebody, I have no idea, but there you go. Never heard of it. Caddyshack, get some more Disney stuff. And then I want to say on the other side of this rack, we got some exclusives. Pretty cool. So there's Alman from Hot Topic, RR Martin, Game of Thrones. I'm trying to find some cooler stuff for you guys versus just some commons, but at this point, you might just want to see some commons because it's been so long since uh, we've done this. But it's all good. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's scoop around this side. And I believe this is really where they keep some. Yeah, so there's Sheriff Woody with Forky. Got Lando. Uh, we got this guy from uh, the Skiff Guard. I didn't get this Smuggler's Bounty Box. But that's a pretty cool pop. Albeit, I mean, for 10 bucks, not bad. Kind of dig that one. And uh, we got Cap. Some uh, Barnes Noble exclusives. Owlman again at the bottom. NYCC 2018 Aquaman and maybe the coolest one on this particular shelf is probably going to be this Craven the Hunter from Walgreens that's actually a pretty cool piece you guys might call me crazy I'm going to predict this set right here maybe not this year but maybe next year or so this set right here is going to go up in value because I have a feeling this show is going to get more popular. If you think of Futurama, what happened uh, in the first season or so, they, they dropped it after, I think, two, two or three seasons. Um, Futurama blew up. I have a feeling if, I don't know, I just, just a gut feeling on this one. So I don't own this set yet. I do plan on picking it up, but I have a feeling, uh, just we'll see. It might take a year or so before I'm right, and I might be totally wrong. That's just my thought. So there's King Zog, and I think Bean is over here i don't know i thought i saw bean somewhere i don't know anyways i know i, know I saw elfo around here somewhere well there there is there's elfo so i i don't know just just a prediction i have no idea um but we do have some anime stuff going on here some fortnite stuff gaming some my hero academia somebody's beeping at us and then we've got the three pack that i don't own yet because honestly they're everywhere and uh, i don't feel like paying 40 dollars for them when i don't really need to so uh, I will plan on adding it to the collection, just just not yet. 
Cal and BD1. I like this one. I have the Black Series set of this. So that's not that's not terrible. Uh, I mean, 10 bucks, 11 bucks. That's not bad. Wouldn't mind having that one, actually. But I have the Black Series one. Maybe another day we'll pick that one up. And uh, But I think we're going to head off to the next stop. Not sure where it's going to be. Stay tuned. We'll see when we get there. All right, look at this. Rebel base. Been a good minute since we've been here. Let's see what they got. All right, guys, inside Rebel Base. Uh, so here, usually they have six scale figures, hot toy, sideshow pieces, but uh, they must have them somewhere else for right now, which is uh, fine. Maybe they sold them over the break online or whatever. Um, but they did have some pretty cool stuff I want to show you, which is down here, a vintage Yoda right there, $199. But they actually have several of them. So there's one, there's actually another one there, but then there's another one down here, which appears to be in better condition for $400. Uh, and I imagine it's because of that edge work on the uh, card there so i'm uh, pretty cool to see some vintage stuff back there we got hans blaster sitting right there we got some uh snow speeders and whatnot so pretty cool uh, and then they have the code of Akia mandalorian which uh for those of you clicking it um code of Akia is a pretty cool piece it's 100 bucks but it does have a couple different uh switch outs uh if you want to do this so he's got uh the hand going on he's got his uh his blaster rifle going on it's, it's a pretty cool piece kind of dig it um, you know, I'm not keen on paying hundred dollars for these, but some people are, so that's fine. Uh, we do have Commander Bly, we got a Knight of Rim. So this is the newer wave, this Jet Trooper and uh, Zori Bliss down there at the bottom. So, uh, hey, Tauntaun. So more Kota Bikia stuff up there and vintage uh, three, three quarter Joes and Star Wars figures over there. So pretty cool. Good to see some uh, stuff here. Got the, uh, wave up there for the 40th for black series figures and um, plenty of other items to check out over here guys we got a bunch of loose figures so we got any, anywhere from ninja turtles we got star wars we got legends we got dc figures i mean hobbit i mean just all kinds of stuff here going on so pretty cool that they have those and if you want marvel legends obviously they got plenty of those so you know guys i don't i don't collect legends but i, I do appreciate them I do, I uh, can appreciate, especially the X-Men when you got Nightcrawler right there. Kent Pull Live is the man for the legends. So if I ever need anything for photos, I'll just kind of head to his joint and see what's up. Like he's got this Wolverine bike. It's pretty sick. Nowhere near as cool as the uh, Ghost Rider or the Cosmic Ghost Rider bike. That thing is insane. Absolutely insane. Ronan, I do have that figure. I did buy that one. Uh, so they do have some loose stuff over here. But again, like I said, nothing... I kind of was hunting some three and three quarter clones, but I didn't find any of those. But uh, let's see if we can scoot around this way. They do have plenty of three and three quarter, just none of the clones that I need. So uh, they do. I thought this was cool. This is actually the first time I've seen this. We have the three and three quarter Mando. So pretty neat, right? From the vintage uh, line here. I, um, I, I honestly rather have the clones. Because I have several Hot Toys coming out of this. I've got the 6-inch Black Series figure of this. So I don't really need that. But it's cool to see it. Because honestly, I've never seen it in person. So we're going to try and put him back way up there. And then uh, I wouldn't mind finding Qui-Gon Jinn in the 6-inch line. But um, it appears to be a losing task. Seeing how uh, I missed out. And honestly, never even saw him for sale. Ever. Uh, ooh, that, hold on. Time out. What is this? This is a Toys R Us exclusive. Yeah. Hover tank Imperial Pilot. That's not bad, right? I did buy that ad ad earlier today. That's a pretty cool piece. Um, and then there's another Mando. So they got plenty of stuff. There's Chariot down there. I mean, just, I don't know. Just cool to get out and look at toys again. All right, guys. So we're going to wrap up today's video. I pick up that driver. Looking pretty good, right? So uh, Rebel Base actually had this in the previous uh box but in the you know the little black and red box but same figure re-release they wanted 30 dollars for that one that they've had for a while and i was able to pick this one up at target for 20 dollars. so i mean same figure same 10 bucks uh so pretty cool so i was able to pick that up and and i got something i've been wanting for like six weeks now sushi <laughs> i got i got some sushi uh, obviously we've got to take it home, enjoy it there, which is not that far from here. So I'm uh, pretty excited about that. Guys, if you want to see more content like this, 
subscribe, let me know. Join the Facebook group if you haven't already. It is awesome getting near 4,000 members in there. All kinds of collectors, Funko Pop, Hot Toys, Black Series, Sushi, whatever. All kinds of stuff in there, so join that if you haven't already. And guys, as always, click what you like. See you in the next video, guys. Yeah.